Destiny wants to bury the hatchet, that ass. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> don't, it's not funny, don't laugh. No, it's not funny. You're more of an open person when it comes down to your uh, relationships with other people, right? Yeah. Right? It's, yeah, I've seen you have debates with your girlfriends and whatnot. You know, everybody's all open. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? What's the problem? I'm not trying to instigate, but maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually wondering because I like you both. And why are you Hassan so, so distinct these days? Uh, I mean, I can give you my honest opinion, but it's going to sound really circle jerky coming from me, obviously. Um, I don't think Hassan will mess with anybody that he can't gain something from. So he's like a very big like networking person. Um, and my platform is not as big as his now, so there's no reason for him to associate with me. And then I think that he tries to avoid people with very differing opinions because he's not usually very well informed on almost anything he talks about politically. He just kind of does like, I would call it like pop politics. So he'll like read a headline, give his take. He'll watch like a 10 minute video with two people in the background on their phones. He'll stretch it out to two hours and he'll just kind of like give a bunch of random platitudes about how conservatives are all Nazis or the West is evil or America bad. And then he just kind of does that. I don't think that he's like, very interested in like critically engaging with most of the stuff that he talks about but i mean obviously that's my point of view right he'll say that on my end i'm just like a massive debate bro who just like shills for neoliberals um who doesn't care about the truth or any of these things i just want to like stir shit up and i'm a bad faith actor so it is what it is oh uh, okay yeah um jesus christ man but i don't get it though i don't get it though we don't it, get what it, well, it's it's content. I, I don't know why, why why he's doing that then. He doesn't because he, he's his platform is big enough that like once he's gotten what he can from something, he'll burn the bridge and then walk away from it like deliberately. Um, so for instance, like we used to be close, obviously, and then he grew past me, and then he didn't need me anymore, so he moved past it. He used to farm the f out of LSF. You cannot post LSF anywhere on my community. You can't post it on my Discord. The link will get auto muted. You can't post it in my DGG chat. Your link will get auto muted. And I don't think you can post it in my Twitch chat. It'll get auto banned. I didn't know this, but I thought that applied to everybody. Apparently other people will just post LSF threads right into fucking Twitch chat on like a sound stream and shit. I don't go through LSF threads on my stream. Like, oh, this guy said something mean, guys. It's really mean, right? Oh, down vote, that guy said, right? I don't go through fucking LSF threads on my fucking stream. And if you look at the actual stats, if you go through the actual fucking stats, okay? I'm like the, the, the 15th most posted person. Guess who's number three, okay? Oh, three's miskip. Number four has Hassan, all right? Like, these people will be on LSF constantly for like, no offense, but for the most boring, random, stupid fucking shit. And then they'll turn around like, oh no, Destiny talked to XTC. He's got like nine threads up. Like, Destiny's take on Futa? Oh, I didn't, dude. It's like when XQC and Destiny merge, it's like the two most active Reddit communities. Literally, Destiny sneezed on the XQC stream. Destiny was an anti vax family. XQC destroys Destiny. On stream, five minutes to 10 clips on LSF. How would this happen, I wonder? Yeah, for like one day. Like, who the fuck cares? Um, yeah, it's just, it's so annoying because, um, it's annoying because, like, I don't play the LSF game. And I don't. You can go and look at my viewer stats. I play League. And then he got really big. He doesn't need LSF anymore. So he told the mods, ban my shit from there permanently or whatever. I think that, like, once it grows past something, he'll just burn the bridge and then move past it because he doesn't need it anymore for his growth. All of the posters on there that straight up use every single opportunity they can to f shit on me are basically trying to drive me to the verge of suicide. This is not to, you know, uh, this is not to like farm sympathy or anything like that. I just, I should get banned off LSF. I hope I get banned off LSF. LSF, please ban me, okay? It's, it's unbearable. It is unstoppable every single instance. Ban me off this dumb ass subreddit, please. I'm sick and f tired of it. Okay? Please. Oh, uh, but usually when I'm wrong, when I'm wrong, mm -hmm. right? I have an ego for a, bad, for, for a moment, right? Mm -hmm. But then, then that kind of fades because now I know better, right? From a, a certain piece of information. Now I feel like I, I know more and I, I've grown. Why don't you guys have a, have a debate where you where like, uh, show, hey man, here's your, why you're wrong and here's the facts. And then he said, oh, you know what, dude? I'm glad to have your perspective because now I understand more, man.
Because that's, that's not his goal. He doesn't care about like what's actually happening. The goal is is that I know there is aesthetically a political movement that exists online today that I can milk the fuck out of for money, and I'm just gonna give the takes that they want to hear. Like you, like I could probably write a script that will generate like every political take that Hassan will give in the next like year over any event ever. Right? It's going to be like anything that America is involved in is probably imperialistic. There's probably military companies that are, I think it's, people on chat will even ask me, like, "Did you see what Hassan said about this?" We're like, "Oh, he probably said this, 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 and this." And then we'll watch the clip. And it's like, "Okay, that's exactly it." Um, it's just going to be like these kind of like um, boilerplate. Like America bad because of this, Republicans bad because of this, Democrats kind of bad, but not as bad, but still pretty bad. And we all need to be socialists and class interests and blah, blah, blah. It's like all like the same boring shit. Like you don't ever learn anything new or get any in, get into any of the, like when's the last time that he read an article on stream instead of just reading a headline or watching like an eight minute video by Vox while he's eating or on his phone, you know? Okay. That's a, but because you said earlier that he had, he had a tweet that ended up being absolutely wrong, right? Well, yeah, so for like 11 days, he kept tweeting, like, I think he even had a YouTube video, he was like, day 11, still no, uh, still no invasion into Ukraine, you guys were all wrong, blah, blah, like, he said that over and over and over again. But I think I'll just change, like, I'll change this every day to Ukraine is still, has still not been invaded by Russia, every day, to, to make sure the, uh, to make sure that the wishes of these weirdo, like, I'm actually a sock them, and you're a fucking tanky, uh, idiots on the internet. Will, yeah, change it to Russia still has yet to invade Ukraine. And it's like day 11 at this point, you know what I mean? What's up, folks? I'm live and alive, and we got a lot to talk about. I was right about Ukraine, that's right. War is not imminent, oh, shocked, shocked to find out. Anyway, we're gonna talk about that and a bunch of other stuff, so get in now, possibly a new React series as well, so. You don't want to miss it. And then when it started to happen, now he's on stream saying like, well, I don't want to debate any debate bros about this because all they care about is just being right about the issue. They don't even care about the issue. For the record, I will not be debating your favorite YouTube essayist. I'm not going to do that. I don't care. Um, you can think that that makes me a coward or something. You know what my position is on this on this subject matter. Um, don't even f***ing Pepe La Vie this because there's plenty of motherfuckers who are thirsty, okay? They are thirsty as f for this. There is nothing that will come out of this that is even remotely productive, okay? Look at what okay. is going on when we have these uh, proxy conversations with all of the most annoying little shitters in the chat regularly, regularly come in here and instead of having an actual fucking productive conversation won't let me get three words across before before people jump uh, and, and uh, you know, latch on to whatever the f*** they can. You got a taste of this? Okay, you got you got a taste of this with uh, what do you call it? With like yesterday's fucking Reddit, uh, little Reddit uh, situation where uh, you know they clipped something out of context, and every single fucking orbiter uh, went on Twitter to be like, "Oh, dude, Hassan loves Hitler. He's like a big fan of Hitler." When so many people, even in the fucking clip that they uh, clipped out of context recognize it like that's kind of weird that you're saying that that's not what he's saying at all in the clip um so these are um the these are not people like even if the people who are personally uh operating in good faith and many debate bros are usually not uh their fan bases are awful not like Hassan's fan base, that he six on random Redditors to get things downvoted so it doesn't look bad. On lay Reddit, even though he was smug as f for the past two weeks, and it's probably like one of the most brutal like walkbacks, like he was so smug about this. Even even your fans are probably like him more than me would admit. Like, yeah, he was super smug about this and he was very f wrong about it. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Okay, but then but then you grow as a person and then you know more and you can learn from your mistakes and stop doing it. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. You kind of that's I, your goal, but yeah. I'm not. No, no. I like I like a, a mediate. You would think I'm evil, but I like mediating it and and being part of something cool much more than instigating it. What, what? Why don't you get? What? Why don't you guys talk for a minute? Hassan will it's, never it's been, talk to me. He won't talk to me because he has nothing to gain from me. Why would he ever so fucking long, talk? It's so long, man. He, he will talk never so talk. Long. He'll never talk to me. He has nothing to gain from me and anything to lose. Why would he risk it?
From yeah, his I'm perspective, gonna... it makes sense, right? Like, if you're growing a platform and you're seen as having some type of political authority, even though you don't have any idea about any things you talk about, right? Why would you ever risk engaging with somebody that might make you look wrong on something? Like, he has absolutely nothing to gain. Well, that's that that, that that's what I did with the with the Ethan Klein when I when uh, I was talking about the gambling, man. I had nothing nothing to win. Yeah, but obviously lose, you're not. You lost. Don't, it's not the same for you, right? You don't. I don't think that, well, maybe you do care about Cloud. I don't know, maybe you're, but like, I think Hassan is like very obviously like super networking focused and it doesn't seem like you care as much about that, but. Okay, because you know, you know, I, w I was there, man, when, when, when Hassan had, had fucking 12 viewers and we were playing fucking, mm -hmm. uh, what was it, Bl uh, Black Zone? <laughs> oh, Blackout, War Zone or whatever, Blackout, right? Black Wasn't it Call of Duty Blackout? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're playing, we kept dropping to the manor, we kept going down and it, I remember, and everybody was having fun. They were having small debates, but now, now it's just now it's just weird, man. Well, yeah, because okay, just... he had something to gain back then from all of those people, right? Like, dude, Hassan was in like a Dungeons and Dragons campaign with like Mr. Mooten and like fucking Dan and shit. Like that's what he was doing back then. But like once he's like grown past the platform, he's like on to the next thing. He doesn't give a fuck about any of the relationships or friendships he's formed. Like that doesn't mean anything to him here. It's just like moving on to that. That's why like um, I remember something that was irritating to me is that I had like um, I spent a lot of money to canvas for Senate candidates down in Georgia for the runoff elections because I thought it was really important. And he was shit talking one of the candidates. Um, um, over and over again on Twitter. Not invite Destiny, isn't he canvassing for the left? Yeah, dude, the left is John Ossoff. Fuck my dick. I already had one controversial figure on. If I was gonna have smaller content creators on, I would rather have them be, you know, lefties that with uh, relevant uh, with relevant politics like Canadian lefties like the Sirs, for example. What I will consider is the implications in the long run when the shoe is on the other foot. Is this guy a Democrat? Yes, he is a Democrat. Um, I think character is on the ballot in Georgia. I think decency is on the ballot. I think restoring the soul of this nation is on the ballot in Georgia. And um, I think that's what he should he should run on, yeah. Civility and also uh, working alongside Republicans is on the ballot in Georgia. I think I think like one one thing that really helps um, beef up turnout is when you tell your constituents like I'm really not going to give you anything, and I'm just going to work with the with the Republicans for the most part. Like I'm just going to be a Republican. Is like. I assume everyone in Georgia is a Republican. Until that candidate was like, hey, we're looking for people to play Among Us with. And then he was trying to suck up to them on Twitter. It's like, really? Yeah, dude. The left is John Ossoff. Fuck my dick. Um, that's just like the way that he works, I guess. It's kind of like the direction he's taking his stuff. Jesus. That's kind of what I do. When, but I, I don't think I have... Um, people know I instigate for content. I have absolutely no, no integrity in that regard. Uh -huh. So hey, since I'm more out there, I feel like it's kind of easier for me to pass uh, like that. Like some guys, some people, I'm like, ah, you fuck this guy. But he'll say, well, hey, let's play some games. I'm like, ah, yeah, for sure. Right? Because I don't really give a shit. I think it's content, right? If I think yeah, it's but, fun, it's, I'm doing but you don't it. take it personally. I don't think you take it personally, right? But it's not takes it very personally. Like this guy is going through like Reddit threads on screen, like upvoting, downvoting shit while he's got 40,000 people watching. He was in a new threads on public freakout two days ago, getting people to mass downvote new threads about him so that they, they wouldn't get popular because he can't handle like the negative feedback. Damn, do you think Hassan is like super worried that Russia's gonna invade? <laughs> he's gonna look like a fucking moron? Confederation. Oh no. Give the right to every nation for self-determination. That was the basis of the Soviet state. Dude, this is so incredibly fucked up. You can never, you can never have a conversation about this. Popular streamer Hassan Piker publicly defends Hitler invading Austria while live to 40,000 viewers. They found <laughs> it again. They found another way to fucking do this. I did not defend uh, Hitler invading Austria, dude. <laughs> You're so mad. Who literally... <clears throat> Top of the hour. Hassan gets canceled every week. Haven't seen it on Reddit yet, but here we are. Though I'm not sure what Hassan's stance on Russia taking uh, Crimea is based off this video. Oh. It's fucking insane, it's dude. Who is this fucking piece of shit, dude? Let's see. Let's look at this fucking piece of shit's uh, 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 personal profile real quick.
Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> we're going hardcore brigading. Fuck you. What <laughs> a fucking piece of shit. Oh no. R slash world news Andy. Like, <laughs> motherfuckers who can't, like, world news Andy. Who can't, like, win, uh, who can't do anything, try to, like. Oh, that's weird. That's oh, crazy. A Destiny that's, poster? Oh, oh, oh my fucking God. Destiny viewer. Oh, no. Now realize, like, he can't fucking do this shit on LSF. So now he has to go <laughs> to public freak out, dude. That's <laughs> fucking wild. What an incredible thing. You f you're literally terrorists, dude. You're like internet terrorists. You're so fucking shitty. This thread is seven minutes old. Oh my fucking lord. Oh. <clears throat> if he finds a new thread about himself on like a popular subreddit, he can use his audience to try to nuke the thread before it actually gets any traction. That's kind of smart. So he views this thread early, even though it has 70 comments, hopefully with 30, 40,000 people watching him downvoting it on stream, he can get people to go to that thread, brigade the fuck out of it, and then it doesn't get any traction. So There's another public the freakout post. Of the USSR of 1924. <laughs> <laughs> and right away, oh, don't worry, have a lot of questions. Mm. Rate us a lot of questions. Reddit is one of those places. Notice how that post was old, so he didn't give a fuck about it. He didn't downvote it. He didn't interact with it at all because he knows he doesn't need his fans to brigade that one. It was old, it didn't gain traction, so he didn't care and he just left it. <laughs> Uh, the other, the post was already at negative elbows before he looked at it, so don't worry about it too much. Those other subs aren't nearly as deranged as LSF. It doesn't even fucking matter because, like, it, it doesn't matter because it, a little bit of a little bit of push on one end can like very easily change the outcome of a post and like stack. totally fucking brigade it. And first of them, so the main question. Damn, I think Hassan actually got a bad post on public freakout that he wasn't able to suppress. Oh, he's trying though. 572 comments, only 591 upvotes, posted six hours ago. Damn, I wonder if he, do you think he brigaded this on stream? Did he look at it? Hassan should be, his admins should ban him um, from Reddit, like, I don't think it violates Twitch TOS, but he definitely breaks the Reddit, um, the Reddit TOS. Like, you can't, you're not supposed to be able to brigade your own content this hard, it's insane. I've been noticing it's been hella toxic, even clip channels are being annoying and commenting in the description on how you're wrong. Why are they clipping me then? Like, if my own fucking clip channels are clipping all of my videos to make money, why are you fucking clipping wrong information then? If that's the case, and then fuck you, dude. Don't make me DMCA your bitch asses. I will destroy the Hasanabi Clips industrial complex. I will make what Russia is doing to Ukraine look like little kisses to the Hasanabi Eclipse industrial complex. Do you understand me? Motherfuckers are literally posting my YouTube videos uh, from my Twitch, stealing this shit because I allow them to so they can make money off of it just to make me look fucking bad or shit on me? What the fuck is this? I'm gonna look this up. I didn't even know. I haven't been on YouTube for a long time. Yeah, I've been noticing it's been hella toxic. Even clip channels are being annoying and commenting in the description on how- I feel like if I ever gave a take that was so fucking wrong, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody in the history of like politics give a take that's as wrong as Hassan's was. Maybe Tim Pool's 49 state landslide. I feel like out of respect for the situation, he should just shut the fuck up and not talk about it. Like, if you are so wrong on this, how can you pretend to give any insightful commentary afterwards? Like, you clearly, you don't know, you don't understand anything. You don't know the history, you don't know the current stuff that's going on. You just, you, you have no understanding of either side. You just don't know anything. So I feel like out of respect for yourself, you're like, okay, well, I thought this is all fake shit from the West. Apparently, I don't know fuck all, so fuck it. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know what you want to, yeah. Shit. You know what, you know what? What, what what if you were to talk to him what, and 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 you, and you, and you guys were talking? Do you think you would actually have a good dialogue about it or not? I can I'm I'm chill with anybody. I don't give a fuck. But I, I don't think that he'll ever talk to me again. You can ask if you want, but like keep in mind also that like I have everything to gain from that conversation and he has nothing to gain from it. So like he'll even yeah. But the if, thing is that the thing is that the thing is that is that you you every time you have something to gain you gain it. When you play a league and you lose all of it plus more. <laughs>
So it doesn't really matter now, does it? Yeah, but it, but to the other person, they just they feel bad, right? Like he doesn't he, like he doesn't enjoy. Like imagine if he talks to me about something and then he's wrong. He's gonna hear about it from my chat. He's gonna hear about it from his chat. Like it's not gonna be a good feeling for him. It's gonna make him feel like even more like ego fucked. Like why even risk it? There's just no point. If he wants to, I would obviously I would always do it. And he is missing out on content because technically, if he was doing debates with like me or even Vosh or whatever, he'd probably double or triple his viewership because people love to watch that shit. But his ego is like way too fragile to handle like actually talking to somebody that disagrees with See, him. See, this is why I debated, I debated Ethan because I think I had a point, but mm -hmm. I also think he had a point, but I just think it'd be good content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And it is. Usually it is. Like debates are like the biggest content for like political people. Like people love to watch each other um, scream at each other, you know? Because these debates, when you lose them, it, it doesn't make you look that bad, though. It's like you had a belief it was wrong or it was whatever, and then now you, you kind of know more. But it's not a big downfall. It's not like, a, oh, my, I'm going to get canceled. Or like you don't lose that much out of it, you know? I mean, yeah, but Hassan's really scared of talking. You have to understand that, that he's marketed me as like this insane person. Like he's told his whole family, like he calls me racial slurs. He's like marks me as this like crazy fucking conservative, blah, 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 over and over again. If we were to have a conversation and it, people realize like, oh shit, like he doesn't know like what he's talking about. Hassan doesn't. It's going to look so bad. Like there was a guy that was blowing up on Twitter too mad and Hassan avoided talking to this dude just because he was scared that I was going to show up magically on the call. That's how frightened he is of like those types of like challenging conversations really? yes <laughs> what so, do you think about, about this get too mad i don't know anything about it he shows up in my twitter mention sometimes apparently he's a big beamer I, I, apparently j reg was feeding him lines to tweet and it's not i don't know if that's true or not but yeah i don't know that's i know you want to say you were just pretending but we all know government balances decisions for economy all the time is on but you imply a compromised government by corporations so to be honest i clapped you up a bit filled with the trump pandemic misinformation for a week yes unlock okay okay now i'm gonna go fucking balls to the wall this is 1000% for clout. Suck my wow. cock, you, you irrelevant bitch, okay? Straight up, that is bait. Straight up, that is fucking clout. That 1000% is for fucking clout. No, he got, he absolutely got fucking boosted. And now he's just fucking trolling. And now he is 100% doing this for fucking clout. Okay, we're done. Just come on the stream, jackass. Here, dude. Here, you want to fucking come on the stream? Go ahead. Okay, so Hassan says, get on the stream. And then what happens? He's watching surgery on a grape. He's watching fucking MasterChef. There's content here. I don't like this. He's just trolling you bullshit, dude. That's such silly baby shit for the record, okay? Oh, he's just trolling. He's just trolling. Oh, okay, dude, I got it. You can just troll and fucking spread misinformation. Got it. Get on the stream. You've been begging to be on the stream. Pull up, bubsh. It's weird that all of a sudden he's not, you, you don't want to come on the stream. And you say, tell me to come on the stream. Doesn't let me on. Doesn't let me on. Bro. I mean, his discord i invited him to my discord i'm sitting here waiting for the sh to happen you're begging me to come on your stream you're beating ass you're being straight up delusional at the moment he calls me delusional i'm delusional you fucking idiot you're calling me psychotic for just pointing out what you're doing my clout extends to you too mad if you have a good point of view don't try to fucking hide behind don't try to hide behind other people you pathetic little coward i'm sitting here like where the fuck are you at he tells me to come on the stream and then he watches master chef right ingredients the right pairing the oh my god this Bob is literally the most wishy-washy washing machine you've ever fucking been in your life you're doing the same thing what trump supporters did and when they called it a pandemic they said the cdc and fauci were in the pockets of big farm and look where that got us. Bro, you are so fucking brain dead. I'm the one who's Bubba. saying Trump pandemic. Trump pandemic is literally what the fucking Bubba. CDC is doing currently. I think people have lost their Bubba. fucking plot. But it doesn't like it when I say pandemic, even though it's the same thing. Like you're implying that the corporations have influence. It's conspiracy theory though. This on be the new CDC, by the way. And look, and then the DMs, he DMs me. He literally admits that it's just speculation. Oh, Man, how the fuck God. are you this? Okay. And then he'll say it's a meme. It's a meme while it's 40K likes. And then you'll watch Trainwreck stream where he's getting like fucking 30K gambling is fucking bobux and then he'll say some cringe like yo you're using your platform irresponsibly so the fuck are you the, 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 the other night I, I went i went to uh to get some ice cream mm -hmm. and uh and he showed up out of nowhere oh crazy yeah actually kind of crazy hold on let me let's see um he runs like two like huge um meme channels i think on youtube right uh does he yeah yeah like millions of subs i think two million five million on each channel or something like that okay because I, I, feel, I feel like good conversations can't hurt anybody. That's why I'm hiding. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, not, it's not funny. Don't laugh. It's not funny. It's not funny, man. I'm, I'm adding to the group. But... <laughs> I'm not laughing, dude. I'm just chilling. No, because I, I think I'm a good mediator. You know? Oh, yeah. You see? 
Because 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 now you say you say you, you you're not big enough, right? That it makes sense. I feel no. Is this not an ego thing? Maybe maybe I could be the big enough to to. Oh, he left. To be, um, to be the Brit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Brit that just uh, solidifies it like cement. Uh huh. Because because. I feel like your takes. I hear your takes, but I I'm watching his stream about about some of the, some of the things, and I feel like we could come to a consensus. And 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 um. And uh, learn learn more. Uh, we could definitely come out on top with this with this conversation. Uh -huh. But so he didn't leave the group, but he left the combo. But I'm sure I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> you Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he'll join, right? Absolutely, dude. He's probably he's so excited. There's no, he's never joining this conversation. It's not going to happen. Why not? It'd be so fun though. But it's, that's, that's not what he wants. He just wants to circle jerk with his audience. He doesn't want like, he doesn't, why would he have a challenging conversation when instead he could just like have fun with his audience? Like that's it. Um, I said, I, I think it'd be good content and we can all come out on top. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hey, um, if you want like a, well, never mind. Go ahead. No, you want what? Tell me. Oh, I was gonna say people were linking me like the all the tweets. If you wanted a sample of what I was talking about for uh oh, that. oh, is that is that where you get proven wrong? No? no, no, no. It was it was about what he was saying before. So like, it's Monday and it seems like Russia still hasn't invaded Ukraine, as all the high level intelligence suggested. Maybe this week. Hope not. Anyways, lots to talk about today. Listening to NPR reporters confused about why the people on the ground in Ukraine are calm when a Russian invasion is imminent is hilarious. They're confused why no one's taking money out or leaving the towns. Maybe it's because the Ukrainians don't watch American news every day. <laughs> like, the, like these are like the level of tweets that he was doing, basically. <clears throat> Jesus. What if, let's say, this is kind of a dumb thing. What, what if they, a, a, a bomb were to land on, the, uh, on a bank mm -hmm. and could they get all the money out of it? I don't, I'm, I don't know the answer to that question. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how much banks keep in like f like physical currency probably, these probably days. Probably not a lot, right? I I have no idea. I don't know if you bank rob. Like I don't. Yeah, I probably. honestly I don't know. That would be sick if you go blow up a bank in a country. Can you just go take all the money? I'm not sure. Because because I would think that that money is just paper, right? Couldn't they like well like, a lot, like a lot of all that, the money inside and just and then reprint it somewhere else and say oh guys we, we went minus ten dollars over here let's just put ten dollars and print it somewhere else. I have I have no idea. I'm not sure. Like they, yes. I'm sure that there is like some physical currency for every digital currency, but I don't know how much like banks physically hold. Have you ever heard of something called? They don't. They don't hold much. I think they depend what what size and and how big your city is, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They don't hold much money. Yeah, it's called fractional reserve banking. I think you only have to have a percentage in your reserves per before you yep. like loan it out and stuff. Um, and then even for money that's in accounts, a lot of that might be digitally allocated. And at the end of the day or weeks, you might move money around in big transfers. But I don't know if every bank has like every dollar that they say they do, like in a savings oh. account. Oh, a lot of people would do like shit like bank runs and shit like that, right? Well, if people oh. think a bank run is going to happen, people will like the co the government usually will limit withdrawals or banks will limit withdrawals so that doesn't happen. But that's kind of weird. You know, what I've noticed though how hard spending money is. It is it is incredibly hard to just spend money on this. What do you like mean buying, by that? Just, just buying stuff, get, getting money out, getting approval to, to buy it. Like, it, it, motherfucker, it's actually hard to spend it, man. How, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. If you want to buy shit, you just go and buy it. What do you mean? Pepe always wins. Um, maybe I'm just kind of dumb. I feel like it's hard for me to buy shit sometimes. What do you, like, what is hard to buy? Anything. Like, is it hard yeah. for you to buy fast food? No, no, no I, have a, I have a credit card. Okay, is it hard for you to buy a car? Um, yeah, decently. Yeah, it's got, yeah, yeah, it's good and hard, yeah. So like if you I've, if you go to like the car dealership and you're like, I want to buy a car, and they're like, okay, you can't like get a money order or write them a check or... Yeah, yeah, I have to make a, I have to make a, couple, a couple phone calls. You're a genius, It's, it's kind of odd though, it's kind of it's annoying. Why do you have to make a couple kinda, of phone calls? Well, because because all my thing is Canadian, you know, and, I, and I'm in the United States, so things get, things get kind of weird. Things get, things oh, get odd. Oh, never mind. That's probably different. Because it so probably sets through. off, well, because there's probably like a lot of red flags set off when huge yeah. sums of C Canadian currency is being converted to U.S. currency. That's probably true. Oh, God, yeah, anyway. yeah things, things get really fucky. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, half the time, I chops one of them and they buy anything. Because it's like, oh, oh it, it, it's Canadian money or whatever the fuck. Or whatever you bought it, it, it transferred to USD and it, and it jammed or some shit. I don't fucking know. It's so annoying. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I need to, I need Sammy's permission. True. Why not I mean, get like I... um? Do you have like a U.S. bank account or? Nope. It's empty. I'll I only use it to pay taxes. Oh. Okay. Man, that's not an joint, man. <laughs> that's crazy. That didn't happen, you know. Did, wait, wait. Do you not think it would have been good though? He, I yeah, it would be good, but I, not probably not for him. Be honest, be honest, be honest though. Be honest though. But, uh, con okay, content brain aside, normal brain aside, put all your brains together and your rationality. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would actually be good to have a sit down and talk about your problem, like a, like a sit down? For me, it would be. For you, it would be content. But for him, he has nothing to gain from me. Why would he ever? Oh, do he that? does though. He does though. What? He, he because because uh, it builds character. Yeah, but he doesn't it's care a, about a character. Big... Dude, this is a guy that's had everything handed to him throughout his entire fucking life. Why is he trying to build character? He just wants to build an audience. He doesn't need any of that shit. The dude's making like fucking seven figures a month on Twitch. Why would he waste his time with an angry fucking gnome that plays League of Legends all day? Like, there's no reason for him to like, to, to even allocate like 10 seconds of his, his time to it, right? Think about it from his okay. perspective. Why, if you didn't give a fuck about like building character or any shit like that, like why the fuck would you even think about it? Why would you care? Okay, okay. But, but I think it's kind of cool though. But sometimes, sometimes, yeah. Oh, what would be the thing that I would do the least right now? Oh, talk destiny. How about we do that, right? Maybe we'll get a different outcome. Maybe we'll, oh my God, look, look, I have so much so many problems with this guy. I'm talking to him now. And look, look, we had a, a, a decent interaction about it. Boom. We didn't yell, we didn't scream. And, and now I can show that uh, as somebody that I dislike, that I don't agree with, we, we both went on top and we have fun. Yeah, but he doesn't care about that. Do you understand? You understand that different people care about different things, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck about that, right? Man, I'll send him one more gym. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. I says, I said. Destiny wants to bury the hatchet, that ass. Yeah. Why, is that not what you want though? Uh, I mean, obviously, yeah, if he wants to. But I, I just... There's breaking news going on right now, my dude. Well, it's not really breaking anymore, it's already broke news. It's like... Well, it might keep breaking. Broke. What if a bomb drops and I don't read about it until tomorrow morning? My life is gonna be fucking over. Can you imagine being that uninformed? That you're sleeping and everybody else around the world knows something that you're not gonna know for six more hours? Like, oof, I can't even imagine. He's hovering over people with my emotes. <laughs> He's just contemplating banning them. <laughs> oh, hey, what are you gonna do, man? Okay, well, I'm. No, I know he doesn't like it. Uh, I'm gonna stop him now. Okay, that's good. Well, not because because now I don't want to make it weird anymore. Because people are gonna go from my chat to his chat, and then uh -huh. it's gonna be disaster. Oh, and it's like not. It. You know, it's not. It's not weird now. Now it just got weird. Well, it wasn't weird before when I brought it up. Because if he joined, uh -huh. right, then you won't have the pressure of other people. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. If you just if you just go straight up, mm -hmm. then you, you then you don't you don't have the the, the dog shit. Gotcha. What I like to do sometimes with my mother does that. I say, guys, I'm not playing or talking with that person in a story. I don't want to hear about it. And then the hoppers and the, and the choppers they stop. And we'll say, dude, go watch Adin. He has his girl and she has her tits on his face on stream. I'm like, guys. I don't give a shit. We're playing this bullshit game right now. I will not go watch Adin and the titties. It's not gonna happen. And then they just completely stop spamming about it. You know? Okay. That's kind of like I I address it. I don't like just saying sign about it that much. Oh yeah, because if you say something and move on, then there'll be like a few dick writers that keep doing shit. But for the most part, people will fuck off, right? Yeah, yeah. They, they dilute very, very fast. Yeah. And then I had Moz Venom. Oh, I'm really bringing Twitch drama. Oh, I saw, oh, okay, hold on. Well, since I'm talking to the big man himself, I'm curious. A lot of people are speculating that big streamers won't go to TwitchCon. What do you think? Well, why wouldn't I? I don't know, people are saying like it's they got what? too big an audience and they're scared for security reasons that people get killed or some weird shit. Huh? Yeah, I don't, this is just speculation at LSF. I'm trying to find out. So you're going, you're gonna be at TwitchCon EU. No, NA. Oh, so you're not going to Amsterdam. Amsterdam is far away, though. 
Okay, but you will go to NA, so, okay. I don't like traveling very much. Uh, overseas? Um, uh, 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 I don't, yeah, I don't like going overseas. It's, oh, um, wait, I, this is true, I remember you, because you told me some fucking Omega Autism story where you, like, skipped some of, or wait, somebody else told me? You skipped, like, some event, like, two times in a row just because you didn't want to fucking fly to it. Uh, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, okay. yeah, they booked me a, a, a fucking first class ticket. And then they booked you a second then, one and you, like, just didn't go. And I dodged it again. Jesus Christ. Yeah, apparently there was a there was a door and a and a, and a, a, a desk with a full fucking a stream set of my name on it, and people were lining up and shit. You should just be like really meta and find some other tall, skinny, like blonde dude and send him in your place. See if anybody knows. Yeah, yeah, to replace me. A double ganger. Yeah. But... Like they see yeah, you on stream, little. they're not gonna see you in real life and be like, "You're not really XQC, right? You must be somebody, right?" They're not gonna know, you know. Alison gonna... Rubius. Sure. Okay, I don't know who that is, but sure. Yeah, Al Rubius will do it for real. Fuck, man. Oh, yeah, I'm playing, I'm playing Elden Ring at 3am, which is in 7 hours, I think. That's gonna be kinda wicked. Oh, shit, maybe if Elden Ring drops, maybe the Russian military will be too busy to invade Ukraine. Maybe that'll be the salvation, dude. They don't play video games. Why not? Have you ever played Dota? You don't think Russians play video games? They play Dota? Yeah. Um... Fuck, man. Do you, uh, did you beat, like, Sekiro and Bloodborne and all the other Souls All the games. games, I beat all of them, yep. Wow. Did you play the Demon Souls remake? Oh, uh, yeah, beat it, that one too. Wow, good job. Yeah, beat all of them. Uh, I don't, I don't think the games are very hard. If, you, if your build isn't that dog shit, you're, you're, you're gonna have an easy time doing it. Okay. People say it's 3pm tomorrow? No, 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 it's 3am today. Um, because I, I, yesterday, you guys didn't see it, but I'm currently in New Zealand. I took my f private jet. Uh, and I made a room that looks just like the one that you're currently living in. And this is my house, New Zealand. So you got a green screen, dude. Yeah, it's green screen. Cool, now, right? Yeah. Cool, man. Okay, okay. well, um, I'll, I'll leave you to go back to your to league. Uh, my mm -hmm. attempt at uh, rekindling a relationship didn't work very well today, but perhaps... Next time, um, for sure, we'll get him, okay? <laughs> we go next time. Be, hey, real talk, though, be careful with this, because Hassan is never going to talk to you if he thinks I might be, like, lurking, okay? He's got, like, huge paranoia about that. He doesn't want me to, like, uh... <laughs> Steven Crowder, you or um, Sam Cedar, you, I guess, technically, so be careful on that, all right? Oh, he's just straight up trying to get fucking Destiny on here. Yeah, he can suck my dick. This thing will not touch Destiny. He's scared of Destiny. Destiny, little dude, five foot. No, I wouldn't even touch him. We'll talk to actual epidemiologists, no experts. Not even two men. Okay, well, he knows that, that I'm I'm somewhat of a decent friend, not a good one, a decent, and I wouldn't sneak you in, okay? Uh -huh. I wouldn't ambush him. I don't do ambushes, okay? I wait, wait, wait. Wh wait, who? Hmm? Yeah, who? Me, Hassan? No, who the fuck asked? <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. What is wrong with this guy? I just... Back to their constituencies to be with the people. What did you, what did you do that? And be safe. Motherfucker. Now there will no doubt be economic impacts from what's happening overseas tonight, globally and here in the United okay, States. Okay, well, that, so yeah, I tried. Elizabeth Shulzy from Since I didn't try it. There have already been sanctions announced. As the White House As, on one hand, it would have been good content, which I care about, but on the other hand, I generally think, I, I, I generally think, that after knowing both of them, I thought it'd actually be a good talk. It'd be a good talk, man.